Hello and welcome YouTube land to another edition of Teacher Talks Second Grade. Um, today we're going to be focusing on who would win and specifically the who would win Hornet versus Wasp. I'm going to try something new today. This is going to be a spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Normally when I do these book reviews on the Who Would Win series, I walk through the book and I do not tell you who wins the battle. This one, I'm going to try something new. We're going to walk through the book and I am going to show you that second to last page where they tell us who would win the battle. So if you don't want to know, click on a different video or at least don't watch the end of this one. If you do want to know, make a prediction as we gain our information, as you gain your knowledge and let's see who wins. I'm not going to read it to you. We're going to kind of walk through the book. The idea of these videos is to give you a glimpse of what they are so you can go out and buy them, whether it's through Scholastic, hopefully through your teacher, or maybe through Amazon or another way to buy the books. And for parents and students out there, this is a level P on the GRL level, which puts this book at about an end of third grade reading level. Let's take a look. Hornet versus Wasp. Talks about, well, it's kind of giving you a little introduction onto how and where they live. Meeting our creatures for the first time. Talking about insects and comparing them. And talking about the bee family. And the flowers and honey and how that works with our creatures. Ooh, a close up on the face different facts about these creatures hornet homes versus wasp homes what they eat wings and legs and legs and wings and their stingers very interesting a little bit of history about these guys Some fun, interesting facts about how we've used these creatures' names and brought them into our world. Some true stories about these creatures. All right, we're coming towards the end. Have you made a prediction yet? Who's going to win this battle? And it says at the very end that... The wasp dies of its wounds. The hornet's eye is injured. The fight is over. The hornet has won. All right, friends. So if you built up your evidence and showed that the hornet had won, congratulations to, to you. By the way, this has an awesome way for you to keep track of who you think might be the stronger of these two creatures. So you can kind of check off that list here. So again, please let me know. Did you like having that spoiler at the end and me telling you who won? Or would you rather me do these videos and not tell you who wins at the end? I'll let you make up the decision and the most votes. That's how I'll do my future videos. I've got a whole bunch more of who would win. So check out our, um, our or subscribe, I should say, and check out the rest of the videos that I and we have up there. And let us know any suggestions. We're definitely open and looking at your comments. So if there's a different way you'd like these videos formatted, let me know. Have a great day.